First this morning, we're following breaking news at the site of a new Atlanta police and fire training center. Police are watching the area closely right now after violence overnight. Video shows protesters throwing rocks and it appears they set fire to construction equipment. Police have detained more than 30 protesters. Now this is just the latest clash at the site. Protesters call Cop City and in just the last couple of hours, we learned new details from Atlanta's police chief. Let's get straight to Molly Oak with an update. Molly police sorting all of this out this morning. What can you tell us? Well, Cheryl and Aisha, police say they detained 35 people last night after they say a group took advantage of a peaceful protest and started attacking cops and destroying construction equipment. Take a look at this video we got for you this morning. You can see police are still out here at the Public Safety Training Center site. And then in video from last night, there's a large group of people that goes into the construction site. Police say that group acted as peaceful protesters before changing into black clothes and throwing rocks, bricks, Molotov cocktails and fireworks at officers. Police say the group also set fire to and vandalized multiple pieces of construction equipment. Actions such as this will not be tolerated. When you attack law enforcement officers, when you damage equipment, you are breaking the law. This wasn't about a public safety training center. This was about anarchy and this was about the attempt to destabilize. This morning, the police chief tells us that we should expect to get more details on potential charges as well. Guys. All right, Molly, and we did reach out within the last hour to the mayor's office for comment on what happens next. We'll keep following the developments throughout the day. And hours from now, community faith leaders will be asking city leaders to stop construction of the training center. The event was planned before the overnight protests and violence. The faith leaders will also go to the Atlanta City Council meeting. We've been covering every development on the back and forth over the police training center. You'll find our in-depth coverage now on 11alive.com.